of hooks. Uh, LRDI, logical reasoning and data interpretation. It's a, it's a, it's a bugbear section. It's a section that causes uh, maximum stress and anxiety, at least for me. And it drives me nuts. Right? So we spent some time thinking about this and we spoke to our students and said, what causes stress? And so one overarching theme for causing stress, for me at least, is, uh, is a chance that uh, I can get zero. <laughs> Fine to put it very bluntly. There's a chance that I may, I may not go anywhere. I've had LRDI where I've done 20 minutes and gone nowhere. That can happen twice over and I'm getting zero. That, that's there. Right? That's a big stress. I mean, what, are the, what are the drivers to that? Right? So let's discuss this. Very important. The entry point. Right? So very often we struggle to find that unlocking constraint. Sometimes when I see the solution, we like, oh, this thing, when they discuss that the total points of all of this put together is 28, you start with that, then everything gets filled. I'm like, I thought of it as my fourth step, not my first step. This is an art or a science or something that can be learned, something that is instinctive. That we can debate. Thank you. I won't agree that anything is instinctive, but this is important. Deciding how to crack open a, open a set, getting practice for that. That's important. Freezing midway. Like I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I've cracked the first part. Then I go get stuck somewhere. A part of me says, look, I cracked the first thing. I know that there's one more thing to crack. I spend one more minute. I crack that also. This is going to run to the finish. A part of me says, seven minutes gone, eight minutes gone. What if I don't crack this? I'll leave. And so that, that causes the freeze, that's important. And that can cause stress. Wrong set, incorrect set, you start with that. You spend seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes. It doesn't go anywhere. Abandoning it feels like a big loss. Continuing with increases the pressure. And so this is probably a huge driver for anxiety around this. What if I select the wrong one right up front? Self-doubt, these contribute to self-doubt. Can I crack this? Will this fall in place? Agar why nahi to, that thought, then that's there at the back of my head, my head. Uh, I've been taking this exam for donkey's years. Uh, so I'm sure many, many people are, are battling with it. Can I can I get this right at a section level and at one LR puzzle level? Right. So later realization, this again is super common. I mean, hindsight is makes everyone a genius, right? So I uh, I knew this, I knew this. This set is so crackable. Uh, another day I'm solving three sets. Right. So we all do this. Uh, there's something particularly linked to LRDI and the time pressure and the decision making elements thereof in that sitting inside that that makes us more more common more frequent and so uh, this, this is chaotic to meet and it's a big theme in the sense that some, some sometimes I'm grappling with several things and then one unlocking thing makes the chaos disappear and it just falls in place and so the the the, the transition from a random set of points into one table or grid or picture and so it's magical when it happens uh, but uh, but I, I, when it is chaotic it is stressful so these are the different points that make us um, anxious or stressed going into it and so we, thought, we thought long and hard about how can we address this and so we came up with a we're doing a, a wonderful lrdi workshop and so usually when we do workshops we do a bunch of theory classes and practice test and then we come to the meat of it this time we flipped it we said, look, we'll jump on Saturday, do a test and discussion, start on Sunday morning, do a test and discussion, and then do a two-hour discussion on themes and ideas, addressing how we can stay away from these problems, how we can get some sort of clarity, how we build a resilience if something goes wrong. So that we'll discuss, not at a not at a strategic team level, but at a puzzle selection. Mostly we'll be thinking about entry point, uh, how do we bounce back from this? How do we not get into this problem? Right? So that's what we'll do in that team. How do we carve open a set? How do we improve in our decision making? That's what we'll do in this session, two hours of it. Why we kept later on after test? Right? So there's, a, there's an element of, of having done this that's going to help this. Right? We're not beginning LRDI preparation. There's only less than a month to go when we'll have this workshop. So it's right out there. Right? So therefore, we are we're there pretty much. So we cannot say we'll do some theory and then start from there. The theory is not theory as much as techniques for carving open open something. So it should happen ideally after these tests. Right? And then there are two more tests after that. Right? What we have done with these tests, we have said, look, each test will have three or four puzzles depending on the difficulty and what they are. What? And each test will be timed for 40 minutes and then a buffer of 20 minutes before the discussion starts. Right? So why the buffer? Buffer so that you can see all the sets before the discussion begins. LRDI 
looking at a solution or a discussion before seeing the set is useless. Why the 40 minute then? Because we want to fine tune decision making. There are four puzzles and some two are doable. We need to figure out ways in our head to attack and pick and select those two doable ones and have a play with the third one, leave the fourth one and take stock. So we want to train or prep ourselves for not just solving, not just carving open and attacking and techniques, but also for decision making, also to build resilience. I tried this for seven minutes, it didn't work, I dumped it and began the next one, that worked for me. To have that feeling that you can bounce back within a section. So each will have a timed test and a buffer to go through the set. So the decision making is also a priority. Of course, it's a priority, fine, definitely. So what do we, why, why, do, why are we doing this? So test blocks, so the, the exam day pressure, not a 40 to 45 minutes, it's 40 minutes, not even 40 to 45 minutes. So have that intensity of going at an LRDI section completely that there. Some time to just pause and take stock of your own decision making. Should I have tried that? Should I have tried this? Okay, this went well, that didn't go well. And now let me do the one set that I didn't even see. Just finish the test in intense conditions, take stock and do the missing part, then have the discussion completely go through the solution part, have some figure mechanism where we at the end of the one hour thing to dial out of the exam intensity and percentile and mark and then focus on learning. Okay, I got this, at the end I this, forget my decision making. Now I'll take in the learning of, of how to do LRDI better. Right? So what are we looking to achieve? What is the counterpoint for that? Right? So, uh, precision skill is how to select the right sets, just why the time pressure element plays a big role. This is what I keep talking about in terms of resilience. Resilience is spoken of as a strength, as a fact, as a facet that drives success in uh, professional life, in personal life, in um, being a good citizen, good human being, everything. And resilience is, uh, is now thought of as a building block for, for everything, for, for being a nice guy per se. So we, it's not something that gets built with a bunch of nuggets. But if we keep telling ourselves resilience is important, it gets built. Eventually, I'm not that resilient. Hopefully, I'll get more resilient next year. Pattern recognition. Fine. So this is for um, for both identifying your strengths and who, which is at an overall level, what set to select, and identifying the best unblocking thing for the particular LRD. I think that you're saying. Fine. So you, everybody gets better with practice, but you get more better with focused practice. So you, you think about and evaluate what was the best constraint. To have thought of for unlocking this, then you get better at picking the best constraint next time around. That's what we'll try to do, do here. Um, repeatable strategy in the sense that have something that is in your head, your play. This is what I'm going for. I'll try to do one set in 20 minutes and then have a poke at one more. If it is very difficult, 25 minutes for one set, that should be sufficient, and then I get the bonus territory. It is very easy, 15 minutes for the first set, and I hope to do two more. Something that you can call your approach going into the exam. Ready to modify it, but have your approach. So, so some repeatability to your, your point. Right? Um, confident approach. Effectively do all of this and then therefore feel uh, one cheer about, about LRDI. Not cocky, not saying any LRDI I can crack it. I don't think anybody uh, should go in thinking like that. Should go in thinking any LRDI I can have a go at it. Uh, but, 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 um, but say, hey, I'm, I, I've got this. Okay. If it's a tough one, I'll hang in there and get a good mark. If it's an easy one, I'll go there, nail it and get a fantastic mark. Either way, I'm getting a good percentile. I got this. I know the boundaries of, of this. And so it's important to, to uh, practice in a way where your feel good factor starts improving closer to the exam and starts playing a role. We'll try our own ways of, of uh, improving that also. Okay. Final word, uh, this course is priced at 14.99, but if you buy it Today, just for today, it's available at 9.99. I think it's a complete steal at 14.99. Uh, I think this, this can set up your entire LRDI performance, your plan, your idea for this section comprehensively, right? dramatically well. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm we've been right now putting together the puzzles and content for, for the session. I'm super excited. Some of the content that's going in is rather good. All of the content is good. Some is super, some, some parts of it are super exciting. So I look forward to seeing several of you there. Best wishes for your exam. Ciao.